Let's make an easy Taco Tuesday Keto Casserole. Hey guys, welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. I'm Sarah. If you are looking for homestyle recipes made ketogenic, then you've come to the right channel. And tonight we are making a Keto Taco Tuesday Casserole. So come along with me. And let's get started. So Taco Tuesday is a term that was originally coined by Taco John's and over the last several decades it's been fought over because everyone wants to have Taco Tuesday, even LeBron James. But it is a very popular concept and tonight we are making it into a casserole that is very easy and is keto. Let's go ahead and get started. If you are as big a fan of casseroles as myself, I consider myself the queen of casseroles then definitely think about a new cookbook coming from CJ's Keto Kitchen all about casseroles. If you're interested, and I hope you are, please let us know below because we're thinking about making one. So let's talk about what you're going to need for tonight's casserole. You are going to need two pounds of ground beef that is already cooked and I have seasoned mine with taco seasoning. If you need an easy keto taco seasoning recipe, one will be linked with this recipe. You are going to need sour cream. We're gonna be using about one cup. I have a can of black soybeans that I have rinsed and drained. These are totally optional, but I do enjoy um, beans with my Mexican food, so we are having them, but you can omit them. This is two very small chopped tomatoes, about one cup, and mine are from the garden. You need three cups of shredded cheese. You can use any kind that you like. I'm using a Mexican blend here. You need two chopped green onions and about two tablespoons of chopped cilantro. Once again, these two items are completely optional. If you like other things in your tacos, then you can swap out ingredients, but this is what I am using. You are going to need 10 ounces of cooked riced cauliflower, and I have sauteed mine after it was cooked in just a dry pan to give it a little bit of toastiness and to dry it out. We are going to season this with the remaining two ingredients, and that will be chili powder. I'm using New Mexico chili powder, but you can use any kind of chili powder you want, and I'm also going to be using some ground cumin. You are also going to need some shredded iceberg lettuce. So what is going to go first into our casserole is going to be our already cooked riced cauliflower and our already cooked ground beef. Once again, this is two pounds and I have seasoned it with taco seasoning. If you wanted to use ground pork, pulled pork, chicken, steak, anything you want, but you need two pounds of already cooked meat. You also need your oven to 350. So you're going to need some kind of large baking dish for your casserole. I'm using my favorite oval one from Pioneer Woman and I like that it looks slightly like a fiesta. And you are going to need something of similar size. Mine is about a nine by 13 inch. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to season our cauliflower rice. As I said before, I have 10 ounces and it's already been cooked. I like to use just a microwavable riced cauliflower. It's very prevalent now. And I just cooked it in my microwave, drained it, and then I put it in my skillet, which was dry, and heated it over a medium heat until it got nice and toasty. That helps mimic the actual consistency and flavor of rice. Now I'm going to season it. The first one that I'm going to put in is a little bit of chili powder. This is not hot, it's just flavorful. And you wouldn't have to have the New Mexico blend. I just happen to have it, it is. Bobby Flea's favorite, and we like watching a lot of food television. So I got me some. And this is linked in our Amazon favorites if you're interested in this exact one. The next thing I'm going to put in is a little bit of ground cumin. That's very popular in all kinds of Latin foods, and I really enjoy the taste of it. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit in there. And then I'm just going to stir that around until it sticks to our cauliflower rice. All right, now we are going to start assembling our casserole. So we are going to add our riced cauliflower, our ground beef, and our black soybeans together and stir them around. So 
So we are going to combine these three ingredients with our cheese. And then this is going to go for a ride in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes, just to get it all nice and cheesy and melted. And then we are going to top it with our cold ingredients. So in goes our three cups of shredded cheese. And I'm just going to work that into our casserole. So if you are familiar with the seven layer dip, this is also very similar, only in a casserole form. And of course it's going to be warm, but you could serve this chilled if you want it after you have cooked the cheese into it. But this is really great for meal prep and it also works very well if you are cooking for a crowd or a party because uh, carb eaters could eat it with tortillas or chips or anything in that fashion. All right, so we have combined all of our ingredients that are going to create the warm part of our casserole. So I'm going to put this into my 350 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes or until everything is heated through and our cheese is melted. All right, there it is. I'm gonna let it cool down and we'll put on our cold toppings. So now we are going to layer our cold ingredients onto our Taco Tuesday casserole. Now, if you were using this for food prep or something like that, and you didn't want to combine the warm and the cool because you were going to refrigerate it later, then you could just stop here and then add those on when you are going to eat it later. Similarly for a gathering, you could just stop at this point and let people create whatever they want as far as toppings. But because we are going to eat this, I am going to go ahead and finish off the casserole for all of you. So I'm going to put down my sour cream layer. And I'm just going to do a light layer. Of course, if you like sour cream a lot, you could do more. This is also going to help our other toppings stick to our taco casserole. Okay, there's my layer of sour cream. I'm going to put green onions next. I have about two green onions here. If you don't care for onions, you can omit it. So next, I am going to put down the juicy tomatoes from my tomato plants. I'm going to sprinkle a bit of cilantro. CJ and I both like cilantro. Some people don't care for it. So you can, of course, omit that if you are one of those people. And the last ingredient that I'm going to sprinkle on is a little bit of lettuce. I'm only going to put a little bit on because CJ is not a big fan. I like lettuce with my taco stuff more than he does. There it is. Taco Tuesday casserole. And CJ is going to have a taste. Okay, you look loco for tacos. All right. Hi. Hi. All right, let's get to this. So it looks good. It smells good. Thank you for not putting lettuce on mine. I appreciate that because I don't see the point. Um, in fact, I'm not even sure why we have lettuce. Okay. But that's just my <laughs> personal opinion. Uh, but thank you for that. And let's see how this tastes. That's good. Mm, good flavor. Feels like I'm eating a taco. And, um, you know, this just got done. So I'm sure as it sits even more, the flavors will come out even more. Mm -hmm. But I think this is good for people. If you do take it to a party, I guess you can let some Carbies eat it. But no, I think, I think anybody will like this. Make sure you go through the line first. Yes, so I, would, I would suggest that. Because <laughs> I think people would go crazy for this. And I can see people dipping this with chips and, you know, scooping it all kinds of ways. So, it's a good dish for anybody. Thanks, baby. Bye. Bye.